Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday and welcome to Coffee and a Card. I have my delicious coffee here with me. Mm. All right, so here is what we're working up with today. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm gonna try and zoom in a little bit. It's not very centered, I apologize. We are using the music from the heart stamp, but I will take a second and just tell you guys about my hostess code. The prize or the gift for ordering is always um, different every month. This month is the Stampin' Blend Storage. You get a pack of the Stampin' Blend Storage for free from me with a $50 purchase on my online store. So go shopping the retired stuff, spend 50 bucks, and you get the, my free gift shipped to you at the end of the month. You will also get my make and takes from today by using that code. Okay, so there's always perks to shopping with me. So these are the three projects. The first one, I saw a card on the demonstrator planning place that had the birds and the music set together. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is just perfect. Have these cute little songbirds, uh, put a little keyboard here. Um, did you know we have music designer series paper? So I'll tell you about that. So that's exciting. And then this one is our rock and roll. So we have, look at guys, I put the guitar on a wobbler. Isn't that cool? I love it. So this is a rock, you rock card. It's a rock star card. And um, I absolutely love the color combination on this one. So did you know you can turn this um, treble clef into a guitar? So I'll show you that. And then last but not least, this is a theater card that Kyler, Kylie Bertucci, do you guys know who she is in Australia? She's a really famous Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. She showed a theater card, and I thought, well, what's better at the theater than a grand piano? Look how cute that is. So it's like a little theater stage. I found this striped paper in the Best Dressed Designer Series paper, and I thought it looked like curtains. You could pull the curtains back and have a cute little message inside with the grand piano. So super fun. Okay. The last card is my little wow factor card, fancy fold. Now remember, all three of these make and takes can be yours. I will cut, score, die cut, everything ready, prepped, and ready for you. You'll just need to stamp, cut, and assemble the cards. Just using my host code up here, if you place an online order of $35, all three of my make and takes mailed to you for free. If you up it to 50, you'll also get my stamp and blend storage as a free gift in April. So lots of awesomeness. You guys can use it to buy all of your retired stuff that you don't want to lose out on. Okay, this card is so, so simple. It's just going to blow your mind, okay? So check this out. Here's what you need for this card. You need four pieces of basic black. So you're basically going to take a piece of black cardstock and you are going to cut it in half on both sides. So cut in half this way and cut in half this way. So five and a half and four and a quarter is gonna give you four even panels. On two of the pieces, you're gonna score once at one and three eighths and once at two and three quarters, okay? And you're going to actually fold it like a C, like this, okay? So, you have made me go buy a retired stamp set, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just show you what I love. I just show you what I'm going to miss out on. I, you know, great minds think alike. Okay, so I've got the two C pieces, right? So I've scored two of them. Two of them I'm going to leave regular, not scored. All right. So the designer series paper I used is a, that best dressed designer series paper. I love the stripes. I think they look like curtains. It was very fun. So on one of the pieces, I'm going to glue it straight down to the panel. You're going to be amazed. You're going to, your mind is going to be blown when you see this. So you put this down like so. Okay. Next thing we got to do is we got to cut a stitched rectangle right out of the center of it. So the stitched rectangle that we're going to use is actually the fourth one. So the fourth from the, from the top. So the fourth one down, okay? We're gonna cut that right out of the middle. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, this piece of designer series paper is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. So it's just matting the, um, matting the piece. Okay, 
So we got our magnetic plate, our clear base plate. We're going to center this as best we can. Always good to cut at an angle as well. It does a better job cutting through your dies. So having that at an angle, put a clear plate on top. And cut through. Oh good, I'm glad I could give you guys ideas. That's always the goal. Okay. So cut through. You're gonna keep this piece because we're gonna use it on another piece. I'm not gonna let any pieces go to waste. All right, let me put the big the rectangles away. Okay. So let's bring back our other piece of black, basic black, and let's center this frame here and we're going to put this one back right in the center but we're going to glue it down oops so just put some liquid glue here now again Kylie Bertucci gave me the idea for this card she did a zoom live I guess and she uploaded it to YouTube and so I was able to get her tutorial on this which was great okay so now we have the background piece and we have the front piece I went ahead and I took another piece of basic black and I cut it to one and a half inches and then I cut the um, scallop die from the colorful seasons or color seasonal layers dies which you guys are already sold out Ugh, makes me so sad um, so we're going to glue this to the top. So let's go ahead and do that. Just because it's easier to do while it's flat and everything's separated. Okay. Like so. All right. So we've got this. I'm going to glue this. I feel like these two pieces are separating a little bit. So I'm going to glue that down. Okay. Now, we have those two pieces. Now, these two pieces, we are going to put on the wide pieces of the panel, we're going to put two more pieces of designer series paper. These are cut down to two and five eighths by four and an eighth, each one. So we'll go ahead and glue them down. Oops, you want to do the wide panel. Like so. Doesn't it look like curtains? I think it's so perfect for curtains. You do have to use two sheets of the designer series paper to get this one card though. Because the pieces you need are so big. And this is only six by six designer series paper. Okay, so you've got those two pieces. Oh, I feel like this is still coming up. I didn't do a good job of gluing it down. It's coming up off the black piece. I could have just peeled them apart, I guess. Okay. So we have that piece and we have these pieces. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put glue on this last outside piece. This is the one side we scored at one and three eighths. And we are going to fold this over and we're going to glue it down on the edge and I just want to make sure that my edges are matching matching and even and if I get too much more crazy with this liquid glue we're gonna have a problem on our hands so you want to when it folds flat it should look like this and then when it opens it should pull out this way so we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side Tiffany, did you hear the news Kelly Aitchison made last night? No, I did not. Tell me, tell me. Tell me the news. All right, so then we have this. Okay, so now it goes across like that. Okay, so there's our pieces. Now, we have two pieces of basic black. This is half inch by eight and a half. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to take one strip and you're just going to put it across this panel and all you're going to do is just fold the sides over. And you don't want it to be super snug and tight because these are the bands that are going to slide, um, going to be your panels that slide the doors open and closed. But So you want it to be able to slide but you want it to be secure as well. So you just fold those over and pinch the sides so you have a mark. We'll do it on this side too. So you have two of these. So fold over and pinch, fold over and pinch. Okay, so now we have these two pieces. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put liquid glue on these ends here. And you're going to glue them to the back side panels. So this is the top, this is the bottom. These are gonna be glued to the back side panels. like so. Oh, and before I glued this down, I should have done something. So let me show you what I should have done is I should have taken my one inch or three quarter inch hole punch and punched a little divot here on the sides. So you have something to grab onto. So I can still do it because I can kind of bend the paper and get my punch in there. But you want to do that before you glue these little panels. So I'm just going to try and eyeball this so you have the two side panels. Alright, let's go ahead and glue this one down. Oh, maybe I do want to glue this down first because now you can see my little edges of my panel. So I'm gonna run. I'm gonna put this back in here. There we go. And punch those little black pieces out. Okay. So now I've got like these two bands in the back, in the back. See how? See how there's like bands? This is where these pieces are gonna slide in. Okay. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and do the stamping and cutting and all of that. So I have a grand piano and um, I was showing, see my little grand piano inside? I was showing some, now I know there is such a thing as a white grand piano, it's a, it's a real thing. But it'd be cool if it was black. So Janie and I were talking this morning because she's like, you didn't color your piano. And I was like, yeah I did, but you just can't really tell. So we had an idea that we should emboss the piano in white on black cardstock. So that you have a black piano but you can still see it. So I'm going to try that. We'll emboss it in white emboss powder and, and then we'll fussy cut it and we'll see if that works. How about that? <clears throat> you can, guys can tell me which one you like better. Okay, so Versamark ink. Okay, stamp it here. And let's go ahead and cover in white emboss powder. Always use that embossing buddy. Did you guys see the embossing buddies retiring? So stock up. I ordered myself an extra one. These are the embossing buddies and you um, pass them over your cardstock before you emboss and it removes all that extra oil or anything that the embossing powder would stick to. Okay, I'm going to heat set this real quick. Okay, so there is our piano. And then let's go ahead and just do the rest of the stamping. So I stamped happy birthday because I thought this would be a grand happy birthday. It would be really fun. So let's stamp happy birthday. I'm just going to stamp it on a piece of Whisper White and then we can trim it down. And then the other thing I need to stamp is the little piano and the music note. So I did a little piano keyboard again because I love that little thing. Now the other thing that uh, we were kind of brainstorming, Patty and I, is uh, if you wanted to get this super more decorated than what I did, because mine's kind of plain, is you could do um, pearls for lights, you know, like bright lights. You could do um, silver stars, you know, for if somebody's performing and they're famous, you know, they might have a silver star. Um, off camera here, I'm just trimming the happy birthday down. I don't figure you guys need to see that, but just trimming that down so I have my happy birthday. Oh, 
The other thing I need to stamp is the cute little music note. So let me, where's my ink right here? Let me stamp the music note. Oh, I love this font as well. It's so pretty. Okay. <clears throat> and the reason I used Purple Posy was because Purple Posy is in this designer series paper. So it's very pretty. Very purple, very pretty. Light purple. So I'm going to use Purple Posy stamp and blend. Just color in the little heart. Okay. So the rest is fussy cutting. And I know that sucks, you guys. I'm sorry. But I'm just going to fussy cut these out real quick. <clears throat> so... The grand piano wasn't too bad to fussy cut, actually. It's so easy, you guys. This, is, this technique is so cool. All right, so I cut my little piano. I really like the white and black piano. That's really cool. I think it's going to stand out really neat. And then I'm just cutting around this little keyboard thing again. <clears throat> we have two of them to cut out. And I'm sorry if I'm missing your questions. I will go back through and read them. It is hard to cut and read comments at the same time. <laughs> yeah, so you guys know fussy cutting little scissors are the best. Little paper snips is what they're called. Stampin' Up! sells great scissors. I have a pair for ribbon and then I have a pair for paper because paper dulls ribbon. I mean, paper dulls scissors. <laughs> And so um, <clears throat> I just keep two separate pairs, one for ribbon and one for paper. Okay, and we're going to fussy cut this little music note out. We have our little pieces here. Let's go ahead and put this together. So on the inside piece, what we're going to do, I'm going to put my piano on in with dimensionals. So I'm just going to put a couple dimensionals on the back. And then I'm going to glue it down and I'm just going to glue it down a little bit lower than I did the last time just have my feet kind of below the bottom piece there because with the um, balance or curtains or whatever it's hard to see the happy birthday underneath and I don't want that to be uh, blocked so I'm going to try and move things down just a little bit more so we can see everything I'm just going to put happy birthday right here above the piano. Kind of tucked it back behind, but I also put it on dimensionals. So it kind of pops. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide these side panels through the little loops. So slide that side panel through. So it slide through. Okay, and then we're going to fold this over and slide this panel through. Maybe. My fingers are so messy today. Apparently today is messy crafting day. What is the deal here? What are you getting stuck on? Do not give me problems. There we go. Okay. So this side is very snug. I don't know what I did wrong. What is it so stuck on? So you can see why you don't want it to be too snug when you glue it because you want space for your paper to slide through. You want to be able to pull it open and go, Whoa. now it's still doing it. It's just a little snug on that side. It's a lot looser on the other side, but it's still doing it which is okay. So I'm just gonna glue my little pianos down. My little, but see how you could add like some silver stars. You could do some stars up here, some stars in there. <clears throat> I was afraid to glue anything to the curtains because of having to slide through the little holder. I didn't want it to get stuck on anything, as you can imagine. So, that's why I that's why my card looks a little plain is because I just didn't want the um, anything to stick here but you could do some more decoration around the top and sides you could say just a note because there's the stamp just a note but how grand and fun is that and I do 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 love the black piano 
Don't you? Black panel looks pretty cool, huh? Can you guys see both of those? So fun, right? And you can also put a panel of white cardstock on the back to do your message and sign it. And it fits right into a regular envelope just perfectly because it's five and a half. Look at that. Fits in a regular envelope. You can ship it. And then they have a grand surprise when they open it. So fun. Okay, you guys. So that's it. Remember, place an order with my code. You can get my free gifts. You can get my make and takes. You can have some fun delivered right to your door. And make some musical cards. Thank you guys so much for a fabulous week. I love you all. I hope you have a good, safe week. And we will see you again next week, okay? Bye, everybody. Mwah.